A number of years ago when I was still in university, I had one of my professors who became kind of a mentor to me tell me that I needed to learn something new every day. Now, being in university, that wasn't very hard, but it got a little bit harder as I moved into the workforce. Now, learning something new every day isn't just about learning something new every day so that you can amass a certain amount of knowledge into your head. It's about learning to shape your life around the idea of having a growth mindset instead of a fixed mindset. Now, this is something that's important for us to think about, as particularly as we grow and as we develop, or maybe as we lead and help others grow and develop, or as we raise children, or as we manage employees, or however you think about it. It's important for us not to see our abilities or the abilities of others as fixed, as a particular box, and there's things that they can do, things that they can't do. That's called a fixed mindset. A growth mindset, on the other hand, understands that even our most basic skills and abilities can be developed and can grow. Our skills, our abilities, our talents are not locked into a box, but there's ways in which we can shift and change and develop them. It's like if someone loses their ability to walk because of a brain injury, our brain actually has the ability to rewire itself so that they can still learn how to walk. They have to relearn how to walk and it's excruciatingly hard and difficult work, but it can be done. And this is important for us to remember. Now, this growth mindset is extremely important, especially for those of us who are Christians. We believe and maybe confess that the Spirit of God comes within us and renews us, helps reshape us and recreate us into the people that God wants us to be. And this isn't just about a certain kind of moral shift so that we move from doing some things that are bad for us and those around us to doing things that are good for those around us. It's also about being reshaped into the people God has designed us to be. After all, Paul says that he has given us all kinds of gifts. Paul puts it this way in 1 Corinthians 12. Verse 4 it says there's different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. There's different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There's different kinds of workings, but in all of them and in every one, it is the same God at work. And then this is important. To each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. We are given these gifts, not for ourselves, but to make this world a better place. And so we're tasked to lean into our strengths, to those things that we have been gifted to do, to stretch them, to grow them, to make them better, to seek out those people that need to have some encouragement to help them see that they can grow, they can develop, they can get better. So if you're the kind of person that's kind of stuck in a fixed mindset, thinking that there's certain things you can or cannot do, or that there's certain things that other people around you can or cannot do, I'd encourage you to think more in a growth mindset and to go through the work that it's going to take to either encourage someone to see that they can grow and change and develop and that you can as well. After all, we're all in this together and we long to see a place where we all work better for the common good. So as usual, if this has been useful for you or encouraging, I'd encourage you to like the video, maybe subscribe to our YouTube channel, share it with somebody else so that they can be encouraged as well.